Have you ever heard of the fact that playing dumb could be very smart or that posting wrong information could unveil the truth, get people talking, how close and introvert they are? We are talking about a very cunning and clever technique, Cunningham's Law. Useful in coaching, interrogating, in lecturing, etc. And in this video, we will delve into its mechanics, its philosophy and its psychology. And we'll give a couple of practical examples on how to use it and what are its conditions. Well, buckle up, take notes and let's delve into this technique. What is Cunningham's Law? It's named after the guy who started Wikipedia, Ward Cunningham. And it was originally meant for online news. He thought the best way to get the right answer is not to ask a question, but to post the wrong answer. Very cunning, isn't it? And how does it work? Well, sometimes in all conversations, we learn more from reactions than from straight questions. Why is that? Because questions can be very, very boring. It will lock people up. On the other hand, a false statement can tickle the ego of your opponents, your opponent's ego. The ego wants to show how smart it is, it wants to correct you. Hence, it is a very useful technique. He prefers to, react, to correct you instead of simply responding. So, Sherlock Holmes said, people open up. When they you mildly protest, they clam up like an oyster if you think if they think their information is too valuable for you. Well, ever heard of Socrates? There is a philosophical precedent here. Socrates invited people on a bench, sitting on a bench, inviting them to chat with him and to debating the underlying assumptions of their of the topic. So Revealing the truth. So he would post false statements for investigating them. So in a dialogue where we assume we know nothing, we could unearth and test these assumptions. Let me give another example in problem solving. When stuck, claim to have the solution, even if it's a very dumb solution. People will immediately unravel the case and will rush into correcting you. For instance, when you decide to go to a restaurant and nobody makes a decision, just suggest a very lousy place, for example, a very cheap Chinese, indecent food restaurant, and the real choices will emerge. It will uncover the true thoughts and feelings. Another example, from my experience, not only from the underworld, but also from the upper world, the academia. This is a true load from the above. In the academia, I saw professors getting annoyed for getting no response on their lectures. Even direct questions will be in vain. They learn to make bold, wrong claims, bold statements, for example, about Plato. A philosophy professor said, Plato died when Leonardo da Vinci was living. Blatantly false and immediately everybody jumped in to correct the professor. Hey, what are you talking about? This is blatant nonsense. Another example. In the case of networking, in the case of getting connected with people, you're at a high-end joint and you see somebody who is very valuable for you. You could be variable. You spot a target and you move on to him or her. And then it comes. You stroll over with your glass in the hands and you would say, that's a Sicilian Gianti you're drinking, isn't it? Fully aware that there doesn't exist such a thing as a Sicilian Gianti. They all look up with half a smile. Nah, this is a Barolo. Top of the line from Northern Italy. It's from Piemont. Bingo. You're in. This is, this is what is getting connected, getting acquainted by using the Cunningham technique. Yeah, dull questions get you nowhere. 
bold claims hook you in, even in flirting. Your date will hook in because it's exciting. It they will tickle their ego, they will um, revel their ego. And but hey, remember not too much dose it right because some extroverted open folks there's no use for it. The direct route with questions will be enough, will be sufficient. Have you ever used this skill? Have you other seen do it? Tell me about it in the comments. Give me examples. Hey, and I will repeat my warning. Be careful with this sometimes manipulating technique.